Hello guys, Tom here from Folklore. I am back with another video on the different options for the removal of blur in Impress 8. So let's get started. For the sake of this video, we will differentiate between two types of blur. Motion blur and misfocus blur. Motion blur is caused by movement of the camera or by movement of the recorded object during the recording of a single frame. Misfocus blur is caused by the recording device being out of focus when the recording was made. In some cases, we can model the source of the blur and estimate what the image without blur should look like. We use a deblur filter to do this. So let's show you an example. This image shows a frame from a video which recorded a car crossing an intersection. Within the time this frame was recorded, the car slightly moved, resulting in a blur license plate. So we are dealing with motion blur here. When we add a motion deblur filter to the pipeline, like this, you can see a blur and an angle parameter. Using these parameters, we are going to model the source of the blur. The blur parameter can be interpreted as the length in pixels of the movement during the capture of that single frame. And the angle is the direction in which this movement happened. The correct values for the blur and the angle parameters can be found by trial and error, but Impress also has some tools which can help getting these correct values. We have to open the detail window for this. The first thing we do when determining the angle is enabling the angle line. Drag it near the license plate and zoom in a little. We can see some parallel lines appear on the license plate. We can use these to set the right angle value. When the angle line is perfectly parallel we have set the right angle so we can disable the angle line again. Now we can fine tune the blur parameter like this. And once this is finished we can try to improve it even more with the additional par parameters present in the detail window. And once you are satisfied, simply close the detail window. So this was a case of motion blur. Another source of blur is the misfocus of a camera, as you can see in the following example. You can see the entire image is blurry and not only the license plate. To enhance this image to the point where you can read a part of the license plate, we need to model the source of the blur again, but this is different to motion deblur. This is why you need another filter. So let's add misfocus deblur to the pipeline. Using the blur parameter, we can remove this motion blur and enhance the image. But still, the result is not very good. To make further improvements, we need to go to the detail window again. Here we can fine tune the result using the available parameters and once satisfied, close the detail window again. So I now showed you an example of a motion and of a misfocus deblur. The reason they worked so well was that the source of the blur was quite easy to model. There are situations in which you cannot do this so easily, like in the next example. Here you can see a blurry license plate, and in this case the blur is caused by movement of the camera instead of movement of the vehicle, like I showed you in the first example. We can also clearly see the movement the camera made because of the reflection on the car. They clearly describe an L type of motion. When we would try to enhance this using the motion deblur filter, you would have to set the length of the movement in pixels and the angle of the movement. 
even though getting the length in pixels for this movement is hard, it is not impossible. However, the angle cannot be set since this changes during the movement. For these types of situations, we have the custom de-blur filter. And once added to the pipeline, go to the detail window. Select the draw option and select the motion path visible in the image. Once this is selected, click the draw button. This will open the kernel draw window. In this case, we will select the reflection using the mask tool. Once the movement is selected, throw away all not selected pixels like this. Hit the preview button to see its result. If you are happy with the result, click the OK button. We can now optimize the filter parameters and once we are satisfied again, close the detail window. So this is the result. And this is the original. So to summarize, if you received the blur image or video, the first thing you need to do is determine what was the cause of the blur. Once determined, select the right filter and try to find the ideal parameters. In cases of very complex movement or when the cause of the blur is clearly visible, use the custom de-blur option. So this was it for now. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please subscribe so you don't miss the next one. See you next time.